Happy Peeps, it's Susanna here today for the Scrap Room, and I'm showing you with you this layout that I created using the Jilly Bean Soup Rainbow Rue collection that is in the June kits. This is um, a single photo layout. Uh, it has a hidden tag for journaling, although I do journal directly on the layout. There is some fussy cutting involved, and um, yeah, so I... Did not go with the solid cardstock that is included in the kit. So with the kit, you will get two sheets of Cascade cardstock. That is kind of that um, tealy color that I've used in the clouds that's at the top there. It's, it coordinates with that. Um, I wanted a white background um, so that I could showcase all of these really great colors that are in the collection. Um, and so I just pulled a piece of white cardstock from my kit. I have a border up the top and um, I'm just kind of pulling elements. So I also, in addition to the main kit, also have the embellishment add-on kit as well as the pattern paper add-on kit. And I am using both of those and incorporating that into my project here. So the foam stickers, that's that Choose Happiness that I'm going to use as the title up above are from the embellishment add-on kit. I am going to actually off camera put a subtitle into this. Um, so the main title is Choose Happiness because those are what the foam thickers have or stickers have. And then I'm going to use other jelly bean letters in yellow. And underneath that, I am going to um, put Grow Together. This layout is um, about my husband and I and um, figuring out some issues and uh, just literally growing together. And so that's why I wanted that subtitle in there. I am also off camera going to uh, use one of the um, the washi sheet stickers uh, that are part of the main kit. Um, and you can actually see it at the top there. That's the washi sheet that I'm holding there. And it says, I'm gonna make the rest of my life the best of my life, and that's in black. And I'm gonna put that down underneath the photo there. Um, so there are three elements that are in black that kind of move your eye down across the page or down through the page, kind of in a zigzag through the page um, because we have that big title. Then there's an arrow that will be to the right of the photos, kind of where those flowers are sitting right now. And then that black that is underneath the photo where the journaling will go as well. Um, so it kind of moves your eye from the title to the photo, to the journaling, to the bottom of the page there. Um, I love that rainbow. And of course, I had to have that there because that's happiness to me. Um, and now floating in the clouds, I want to have a couple of these hot air balloons. So I'm going to fussy cut two of those out and kind of have them floating in the sky um, by the rainbow up there. Now, I decided that I really liked the layout, but it needed a little something extra. Um, the, the picture looked sort of plain by itself. So I've got that pink that I cut out as well as I'm going to go ahead and put just a little strip of yellow in behind the photo. Um, uh, because I have pulled up the photo so many times, I am also going to stick that tag into a glassine bag that is what's going to end up nestling the journaling in there. Um, and it actually just ends up nestling the tag. It, it is removable. Um, I intend to put some journaling later on, um, although I do journal directly onto the layout as well. I just want the more private stuff that will be nestled into that tag there. So at this point, I have committed um, to those layers and I will go ahead and stick everything down. Um, in order to make the placement of the foam letters easier, I did choose to just cut them off of the sheet. Um, that helped with the clear background to be able to see where things are gonna go. I will warn you that when you do apply these foam thickers to things, that uh, all foam stickers, they're, they're pretty malleable, so where, it's typically easy to just stick things down and kind of pull the backing behind them. When you pull the backing, see, like I'm doing there, um, it kind of pulls the shape of that foam. So you do have to uh, be careful as you pull that backing if you want them to kind of stay the way that they came. So you can see how that happiness ends up being slightly curved there. I am going to go in and lift it um, and straighten that back out. Now I toyed with the idea of popping one of these hot air balloons um, to 
lift it off the page to be similar to the same dimension as the foam sticker in order to give it some depth, but um, I, it didn't really need it. it it's a choice, really, uh, so I decide not to do that. Um, so this is how you create a hidden spot for the tags. I have some double-sided tape and I'm literally going to put it down all three sides of that tag and that is what's going to nestle that in there. Um, although you will see later on that that kind of becomes a moot point because I end up putting a glassine bag in there behind it. Um, and that is largely because I have just pulled up the, <laughs> the photo so many times that things aren't sticking the way that I wanted them to. So you can see I struggle here with getting this particular piece off and I should have just used my tweezers in the first place because I know that this is difficult to remove. Um, but yeah. You know, sometimes you think you know what you're doing and you, you just go for the easy thing, even though you know that the easiest thing to do would be to um, reach for that extra tool. Yeah, not so much. Um, so I love the way that the colors in this collection really pop the colors in the photo. You've got the green in the background of the golf course. You've got that setting sun across the water is the yellow. Um, and then that pink is sort of peachy color is that pink that will go um, around the photo. And you really, the photo pops so much more when I do end up putting these photo layers in, um, which is coming up and you'll see how that really does pop the photo. So the photo stands out there, um, but it definitely needed a little something else. So I'm glad I went ahead and lifted things um, and went ahead and put those photo pictures, photo layers in. So one of the things I like to do with these washi tapes is I like to sort of fussy, not fussy cut them, but just kind of make it look like it's ripped so that it doesn't have that rectangular feel. And I like to use them for layers. Um, they can either be shelves for journaling or shelves for subtitles, which is kind of what I'm going to do here with that, um, that navy blue ephemera piece there that says, be you, the world will adjust. So... I'm just building in some layers here to put that and make it feel like it's not kind of randomly floating. And I am going to stick those flowers down as well. Um, and they are kind of randomly floating, but they're tied in together by that big asterisk that's on the left-hand side of the photo there. Um, I do end up journaling off camera and the journaling just says walking around Wyndham together, time together, time to connect, time to share, being outdoors and being fit. So part of our journey of the rebuilding of our marriage is not only just being able to communicate again and sharing time together, but also um, feeling good about ourselves individually as well as a couple. Um, so we have been going for weekly walks together, which has been a nice way of not only spending time together, but solving life things together, family things, kid things, couple things. Um, so it's been a nice way of reconnecting with Michael. So this is where I'm going to cut that pink um, and that is going to be the main border behind the photo and see how that really just pops Michael um, and myself and just pops the color that's in the photo. It definitely needed that. Uh, my other option would have been to have used some mist, um, but I decided that I wanted to use more of the kit and I have plenty of it. So that was going to be a great way of incorporating that color in. And also uh, and it afforded me the ability to use the yellow um, and other colors that are in the layout that just popped that picture. I use all kinds of adhesives in this layout. I've got my ATG, I've got this Prima glue pen. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, as you can see, I, uh, you know, it's whatever works really, whatever does the trick. Um, and usually it's what's most convenient and what's at hand. So there's that glassine bag. Because I have all those different layers, um, the tape that I had put in earlier was not going to work for the pocket. So that, my friends, is my layout created with the June kit. If you are a new subscriber and you leave my name in the comment box, Rochelle will be sure to send you a little extra something. Um, these really are great kits and that you get four different samples of four different manufacturers a month, which is absolutely fantastic way of getting a nice variety of things in there. 
Enjoy the rest of the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.